Okay, now we're going to be talking about how groups develop and how the cohesiveness in groups also develops as well. But really this is about um, the, develop, the group development. Okay. Basically, the idea is that for the most part, groups seem to develop in a relatively predictable way. The, the, the patterns of change are uh, seems to be pretty much universal. And there are, and that's the basic idea behind the theories of uh, group development. Some theories say that uh, development follows in stages, predictable step-by-step -step stages. Step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, let's say. Okay. Uh, another model says that the groups go into various cycles, you know, going back to different periods and then forward. So it's a more of like a cyclical, dynamic relationship rather than just one, two, three, four, five. Uh, there's actually some truth to both of these models. To tell you the truth, that, um, you know that there are there are some predictability, but some linear, you know, one, two, three, four, five development. There's also sometimes where um, there might be backtracking, there might be cycles, and so on. So uh, there's some validity to all, to 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 both of these approaches, really. So let's start with the basic linear five-stage model of group development. So we talk from the, from the beginning of the group to the end of the group. Starts with the formation of the group. The group uh, is created you know, with the idea of what the group is supposed to do. Then there might be some conflicts. Okay, well now they're talking about, well now we want to, uh, I think we should go this way. No, I think we should go that way. So there, this might be a source of conflict, maybe personality conflicts. Maybe conflicts in terms of, you know, how do we proceed from here? Okay, so these conflicts have to be dealt with. They have to be resolved, and once they are resolved, or at least, or at least that they are addressed and dealt with, then now we can start forming uh, the uh, the particular kind of roles that take with the leaders, you know, the recording secretary or whatever. Or there's also the various norms that develop about the, 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 the way in which they approach their business when they meet. So this is kind of like where we're developing, you know, what the what the group is, is uh, how the group is supposed to essentially behave. Uh, this is where that becomes stable and uh, structured. Finally, once they've uh, determined who does what and how, then they go ahead and actually do the work and they evaluate how they're doing it and the results so they're moving towards the goals that they've actually set for themselves and finally after that the, the when the, the group has accomplished the goals the group may, may uh, disband and this reflects Tuckman's five-stage model which you can remember as forming, storming, norming, performing, and adjourning very easy to remember. The forming stage, this is the group orientation. Everybody getting to know each other. Uh, this is where they say, okay, well, what, what are we doing here as a group? That kind of thing. And next stage, the storming. This is where they're, where they're having that conflict, where they're deciding, you know, where they, they may be having disagreement about where to, how to proceed. The structure is the norming, where they're forming the norms, they're forming the standards of how the group is going to be set on how they're going to uh, how they're going to accomplish their goals what procedures they're going to follow what you know who's going to have what role and the work of the group is the performing this is where they're actually going to be doing what they need to do moving towards that goal and finally once the goal is uh, set they're going to uh, you know then they may be disbanding and moving moving away from the group. The group will end. So that was so Tuckman's model is definitely a stage model. But what about like a cyclical model? Uh, Robert Bales's uh, model of equilibrium 
is the idea that there are two basic activities that go on when you are in a group. One type of activity is orientation toward the task where you are moving toward the goal the group has set. So you're trying to do what the group is set to do. Uh, another type of orientation, another type of activity is relationship orientation. And this is kind of where you are forming relationships with the people, forming friendships, camaraderie, that kind of thing. So in any kind of group activity, there are some times where you're actually doing the business of the group. And there are other times in which you might be joking, you might be trying to, uh, you know, uh, forming friendships, or you might be trying to resolve uh, personality issues. All of that is dealing with relationship issues among the people in the group. And according to Bales, is that it shifts from one to the other. A punctuated equilibrium model takes that approach, but also realizes that there are certain moments in which there might have to be a burst of activity. Uh, there might be some time pressure. And then it kind of goes back to the re relaxation, maybe relationship. Uh, and there might be some lulls in the, in, the, in the activity where the group can more or less, nothing really to work on, just kind of focus on their relationships. And then a burst of activity again. So there could be something like that. And there are uh, cultural differences, too, in terms of how uh, people in that culture kind of view time. Do there, there are some people who kind of see things as, all right, we got to move to the next step, to the next step, to the next step until we reach our goal. There are other types of cultures that would be called polychronic, which might be kind of like not really worried too much about deadlines or anything like that because they kind of see is, is that, you know, time all fits together, you know, the past, the present, and the future. So uh, they don't really necessarily see as, oh, we have to do this, 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 and then this. They're kind of connecting with the past. And that polychronic idea is, uh, you know, you know in, th in those kind of cultures, maybe they're, they're not so strict with the, the deadlines that the group has to follow.